Hey kids, today I want to talk to you about praying in the name of Jesus. Now sometimes when people pray, you may hear at the end of their prayers, in the name of Jesus, amen, or, or something like that. And maybe you've thought, I wonder why people pray like that. Uh, why don't they just pray? Why don't they just pray to God? Why are they saying that they're praying in the name of Jesus? Well, the first thing we need to know about praying uh, in the name of Jesus is the fact that Jesus himself prays to his heavenly Father. In today's, or in, in Sunday's, um, gospel reading, you'll hear a, a very long prayer of Jesus to his Father uh, from John chapter 17. Sometimes this chapter is called Jesus' High Priestly Prayer, um, which is really just a, a prayer to his heavenly Father. Now here's uh, a couple of the verses that, that Jesus says as he, as he prays this prayer from John 17. Jesus says, I am praying for them, his disciples. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. So there, in that prayer, Jesus says that he is praying for us. And we need to remember that we need Jesus to pray for us. Now certainly there are times when we pray uh, directly to God the Father, uh, such as when we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Um, but even that, even when we pray to the Father, uh, it isn't without first going uh, through the Son. And this is really important because if we were to go straight to the Father in prayer or on the last day, on Judgment Day, that would not be good for us. Uh, we would be entering our Father's presence and speaking to our Father in prayer as sinners as people who are unholy, uh, people who shouldn't be in the presence of a holy God who we've offended by our sins and uh, who we've been marked as, as unclean because of our sins. But that's the whole reason that, that Jesus came to earth, to die for our sins, so that when we have faith in Jesus, uh, Jesus gives us his righteousness. Uh, Jesus gives us his perfect life. And when we have faith in Jesus, uh, his life is ours. His righteousness is ours. So when we pray to the Father in Jesus' name, uh, we're praying in Jesus' righteousness. Uh, we're approaching God the Father as holy ones, as ones who have been uh, redeemed from sin and death, uh, ones who have been forgiven and, and declared worthy to, to stand before God. So that's why always, even when we don't say it, even when we don't say in the name of Jesus, or in Jesus' name we pray. We always pray in the name of Jesus uh, because we're praying by faith. We're praying by faith that God hears us because Jesus has forgiven us uh, and, and we're standing before God as, as righteous people. Um, that's even why in Scripture uh, there's a verse in, in 1 John, I believe, that says we have an advocate with our Father, Jesus Christ, is the propitiation for our sins, uh, which means he's the one who, who paid for our sins, the one who, who took them away. And so whenever you pray, you don't have to say in the name of Jesus, uh, but just remember, we always pray to God our Father uh, in the name of Jesus, who has made us worthy and righteous to do so.